It has been now four years that we have lived in a Helsinki area in our van and yeah. everything has gone so smoothly. No hassles in anywhere or yeah. any landowners coming to say say to us that you need to go or no police harassing us or... Or neighbors. People generally are so busy with their own lives so they don't really care. We try to wash our van. Regularly. But, yeah, so it's not like this disgusting uh, dirty rust bucket. We try to keep everything nice and clean. So I think that's like the most stealthiest thing that you can do. First heat wave hit the Helsinki this summer. Here in Finland there is something like two or three weeks time where you really need AC. Outside it's 27 and inside it's 28. Yeah. So Finally it's a full summer. There's lots of uh, assumptions that you, if you live in a van that this is like a sauna inside. Just like a normal car on a parking lot that it gets hot like plus 60 or something and you cannot leave your dogs here because uh, in a car they will be burning but yeah but in a van we can actually maintain pretty good Decent temperatures because of the insulation and we have tons of windows and we can let the air flow here I think the biggest one is these uh, summer blinds these sun blinds yeah because they block the, all the sun coming inside of the van and other thing is uh, our roof windows that we can open that uh, all the hot air can escape yeah and if we leave the van in the middle of the parking lot which has no shade block all these windows and open the roof windows it will get something around uh, two celsius hotter than it's on the shade that's pretty good yeah, so we're gonna actually leave our dogs here easily to our van. Yeah. We used to have this tem temperature meter inside the van that uh, sends SMS when the temperature gets too high. But after using two years, it never beeped. So we decided to ditch them, ditch it, and we know that our van is capable of maintaining the temperature inside. Yeah. And good thing when you live in a camper van, it has a, those tires underneath and a steering wheel. So if you are pocket somewhere hot, you can always drive through the shade. We are kind of trapped here in the Helsinki and because the weather is so hot, everyone else here goes to the beach and we do not enjoy that. Like crowded places and screaming kids and water splashings. So we would rather go to the beach when it's a little bit colder because then we can have the beats to ourselves. And when we live in a Helsinki, there's always an option to go by the sea because there's always some some cooler than on the inland. Yeah, that's really good thing about Helsinki and living full time in a Helsinki because there's always some wind. It's really good thing in the summertime because it's never get too toasty. And the winter time it kind of sucks because the wind emphasize the coldness but it's never too cold in the Helsinki also so I think Helsinki has been a really good place to live in a camper van in that sense yeah and pretty mild we're gonna spend this night at, at least here maybe go swimming in the morning time or on the uh, night time yeah. to local beach and get cooled off but this will be nice there is uh, some walking baths just beside us over there so we can take the dogs out and maybe go see the sunset in the evening time. We have a full shower in our bathroom and we don't have to heat the 
shower water so we can take like cold showers every uh, time we want to and we have 100 liter tank of water so when we fill it up with uh, pretty cold water it stays cold for days yeah it's amazing and one thing is good because uh, we installed the gas tanks fill refillable gas tanks to our van and next time we can fill them in Norway and we have to now save some LBG so we can actually get there to Norway before it runs out there's only one place in whole Finland where you can fill those tanks last weeks of work I think I have something around six work days left until we can go and yeah, we have been staying put in here in Helsinki. We have had really much fun here. Yeah. So even if we have worked full time from Monday to Friday, still all the joy that you get from living in Ivan it has been great. For yeah. example, now we had a full work day and now the work day is over and we have all this free time and we are already here in this beautiful Forest. You can see that there is always uh, some sun coming inside our van to bedside where the dogs are and always when we come to the van bull eyes in the sun <laughs> and he truly loves the sun so much and all the heat yeah. for example in Italy when we were plus 40 he was like uh, laying on the round ground where yeah. it was sunny not beneath the van where it was uh, some shade yeah, they are Mexican little duckies and they will love the heat. We try not to cook too much those slow cooking foods during the heat way because it can, I don't know if it does, but it can heat the van quite badly. And when you are, when the weather is really hot, you would rather just eat salads and like cold soups or bread or something, like something that you don't really have to cook. And our fridge, the LBG fridge, has worked really great. It works even we are parked really tilted and even it's really hot outside. Yeah, uh, we had problems like last year, I think, with the fridge because uh, the pipe coming from the flame was clocked, so we needed to clean it. And after the cleaning, it has now worked for over a year. The whole fridge has been running. 24 7 for the past five years now <laughs> over five years yeah. so it's really good fridge we love it and especially during these hot days you really enjoy those like cold produce and cold juices and everything that you can put in the cold spot we can run fridge for maybe one and a half months with the one, one bottle of 11 kilos of LBG or 21 liters. What else? Well, if you're here in shade, you don't get that much solar, but we haven't had any problems. No. We have had now the batteries for one and a half months. About it. Yeah, and we had them full like every day. Yeah, Yoni can play his computer games like during the night time when the sun isn't that high and it takes like seven percent of the battery power yeah. if i play like uh, my computer four hours it's amazing like we are still so amazed and we are always thinking like how could we live before without this the sun isn't go going down the whole day and in a night time you can get actually solar and we are driving a lot and well we are parked on our, my workplace where is no shade so it gets much solar yeah but when we get to our uh, plot where it's a uh, shade then we need the extra solar panel to maintain the batteries of course yeah because we are going to stay put for a while we haven't been in our plot since the full winter and we are so excited to go there yeah we did uh, cut like uh, maybe 40 or 50 trees from the shoreline to get more sun to the plot and yeah. get also really nice view to the lake from our van we would have to cut down those all those trees to logs and split them it will take like something like one week because there's lots of firewood it doesn't matter because we are making firewood for ourselves and we can use them in future yeah. so it will be really awesome we can 
heat our sauna like every day if we want and we are self-sufficient that way. It's amazing feeling. And why we haven't really been on the plot? Well, it takes over three hours to drive from Helsinki and we made this decision to quit our jobs and start saving mo money as much as possible. How do you rate this thing? Do people actually use this and put it there? I know they are trying to make a lot of like workspace here, but we usually just take it off and put it somewhere there and never look back. Tons of green thingies, produce. It's always good to wash your tomatoes. And these tiny ones, these are... <laughs> These are so delicious, they are like candy, and now because it's a full summer, they are really cheap. So this is our spot for this night. This is just a tiny little parking spot next to the tiny road, so not much cars go by. And there's just a little trail that you can walk your duckies. And we did park our van this way. So we leave all this other area if there's going to be a people here. It's pretty easy to find these kind of places in Helsinki. And this one is also in eastern part of the Helsinki, which we prefer because less people and more nature. The sun is hitting our van, but it doesn't matter because we keep those sun blinds, so it will prevent the van getting extra, extra hot.